if set P is having members 3, 4, 5, 6, and set Q is having members 5, 6, 7, 8, while set R is also having members 2, 3, 7, 9. Which of the following options represent the set P intersection Q union R? And the options given to us are A is 5 and 6, B is 3, 4, 5, C is 3, 5, 6, and then D is what? 3, 4, 5, 6. So which of the options given do you think is correct? Take your time. Let's solve them one after the other to figure out the correct answer. We have set P, which is having the members 3, 4, 5, and then 6. We are also having set Q given to us. And that too has 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we have another set, that is the third one, which is R. And that is having the members 2, 3, 7, and then 9. And we are told to find the set P intersection Q union R. If we can solve that, the first thing we have to know is to identify set which belongs to Q union r okay q union r that means that members in set q and then the members in set r which are written together okay so let's write all the members in set q and r together before doing this note that whenever you see a number which is found in one set and that number is also found in the other set we write only one okay you won't repeat them so now let's write q union r members we have two we have three the next one is five the next one is six we also have seven you see we have seven here we have seven here but we write only one and then we have eight we also have nine Okay, so these are the members of Q union R. Let me bring them, let me shift them here a little so that they can be in line. So we have Q union R and they are 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good. So these are the members of set Q union R. And then we have set P here, which is 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have set P. And we are being asked to compare set P to the union of set Q and R. Okay. So P intersection the union of Q and R. What it means that the intersection here means that members which are in P, that can also be found in set Q union R. So we are going to compare these two sets and write those which can be found in those two sets. It means those which are common to those two sets, right? So we go through set P and go through set Q union R and write those which can be found common to the two sets, right? Now we have 3 here in set P and we also have 3 here in set Q union R. So we write 3. We have 4 in set P but we don't have 4 in set Q union R so we won't write it. We have 5 in set P and we also have 5 in set Q union R so we write 5. We have 6 in set P. We also have 6 in set Q union R. So you write 6. Now you don't have any other members in set P again. So we can't continue the comparison, right? So this is the end of the members which can be found in P. 
and it can also be found in set Q union R. So we close our brackets. Now let's compare the answer that we've had to the options given to us. Which of the options do you think is correct? The first option is five, six. The second one is three, four, five. The third one is three, five, six. And the last one is what? Three, four, five, six. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is what? C, which is three, five, six. If this is your first time of reaching this channel, press the subscription button, subscribe, and then press the notification bell so that you will be updated on any new videos. You can click the channel name there to go through the playlist to watch more of these tutorials on Q&A.